Hey guys, welcome back to the Log Doc Project 365, episode 1717. Guys, if you're following along on YouTube, please jump on over to the Wadoc.com and check out all the full length videos that we house there. Today, what we're doing is talking about uh, people with limited ankle dorsiflexion and how we can get them to squat better, but not necessarily raising their heels. Of course, raising their heels is a way to do that. Uh, but I'm going to give you a different stance position that could help you uh, and explain to you the biomechanics why. First and foremost, what is limited dorsiflexion? That is when you have a limited range of motion where your ankle right, doesn't flex as much in this direction. So your toes coming up towards your heel, right? The more that you're limited into, your, into, your, and into the direction where your toes are coming to the heel, the harder it is for you to get your shin and anterior drive forward without your heel coming up off the ground, right? So let me show you what I mean by this. If I get into a position, I take my normal stance, right? And I have limited ankle flexion. As I go ahead and I start squatting back down, my heel is going to start raising. My heel is going to start raising off the ground, like you see right there, right? As long as I don't have a hip mobility, uh, immobility, and I don't have a knee immobility, my ankle is the only limiting factor. I can still get to full depth, but my heel is going to come off the ground. Okay, so ideally if I'm able to squat keeping that same position and I have uh, good ankle mobility, you're going to see how much anterior, uh, anterior tibial drive there is right here, right? So anterior tibial translation. You can see the direction that I'm in right there, right? The knee is coming up over top the toe, maybe even a little past the toe, and I have a lot of anterior tilt here, right? If I'm looking at limiting that tilt, if I turn up my toes, right, so initially I was like this, and I'm driving, right? If I turn up my toes, like such, and take a stance that's about a half a grip wider, okay, you're going to notice as I come out, as long as my knees track back over top my toes, I can still get to the same depth that I just was at, but the amount of ankle dorsiflexion needed to do that has decreased. So take a look right here. Take a look right here. Okay? So if I'm limited only by ankle dorsiflexion limitation, I could take a little bit of a stance that's a little bit wider, and I could point my toes out a little bit more, and I can limit the, uh, the effect that that limited ankle dorsiflexion will give us. So. Try that out. Questions and comments, please post it below. Otherwise, guys, we're here each and every day optimizing function to optimize performance.